Hey bees, I'm Marie from Humble Bee and Me and today we are making my lovely Soothing Oat Bath and Body Oil. Now, body oils are often very, very simple. It is oil and you put it on your body and that is basically a body oil. You can add essential oils and you can blend oils together, but effectively that is what a body oil ends up being. This one is special. This one has emulsifiers in it, which means that instead of just being sort of like just a body oil, it's effectively lotion concentrate. If you use this bath and body oil with damp skin, it will turn into lotion on your skin as the oil emulsifies with the water that's on your skin, which I think is pretty darn cool. The bulk of this bath and body oil is two liquid oils. I used sweet almond oil and sunflower seed oil, but I mean, if you have different things on hand, if maybe you have some grapeseed oil or some safflower oil or some, some apricot kernel oil or sort of whatever you happen to have on hand that's reasonably inexpensive that you want to use up, that's a good choice for this. It's a very flexible recipe. I've also included some shea butter to give a little bit of thickening to help hold the colloidal oats that we're adding in suspension. If you don't have shea butter, mango butter is a really good alternative. For essential oils, I have gone with a really lovely blend of sunny, sweet labdanum and lavender, but you could honestly do pretty much whatever you want. Uh, just stay away from the phototoxic citrus essential oils because this isn't really a wash off product that could leave the door open to getting some pretty nasty burns and that is no bueno. Okay, well, I think that's about it. So let's go make some soothing oat bath and body oil. <laughs> We'll begin by measuring the vast majority of our ingredients into a heat resistant glass measuring cup or a beaker. So this is a 250 milliliter or one cup Pyrex measuring cup. So you'll need four grams of colloidal oats, 40 grams of sweet almond oil, 10 grams of shea butter, 30 grams of sunflower seed oil, 17 grams of olive M300. And the 300 is important here. You can't use olive M1000 because it's solid and we don't want a solid emulsifier here, we want a liquid one. You could use polysorbate 80 or turkey red oil instead of the olive M300. And nine grams of BTMS 50 or any other complete emulsifying wax. I like BTMS 50 because it is conditioning, because it is cationic, but you could also use emulsimuls, also known as readamuls, emulsifying wax NF, or polo wax. So to melt everything together, we are just going to pop this measuring cup into a water bath. So this here is just a small saucepan with about an inch or three centimeters of water in the bottom of it. And so we'll do that just so and go pop this on the stovetop over medium heat for about 20 minutes to melt everything through. After everything has melted through, you can remove your bath and body oil from your water bath and you are done with the water bath. So give that a stir. At this point in time, any of the lumps that you might catch a glimpse of in here are just sort of clods of the colloidal oatmeal, and obviously those aren't going to melt, but they will distribute quite nicely as we stir this a bit. So all that's really left to do is add some essential oils and our vitamin E, and we're done. So honestly, for this, you could do basically anything you want for essential oils, but what I have done is this really lovely intoxicating blend of labdanum and lavender. So we're going to do about three blobs of labdanum and 11 drops of lavender. And you can start to get an idea of just how viscous and sticky labdanum is by looking at the outsides of this bottle. So it's not really possible to do drops of labdanum, it comes out in blobs. So that's why uh, if you do put this in a, in a water bath, there we go, ha <laughs> ha. One, two, three. Call it that. This is more of a resin than a true essential oil, so it's not nearly as potent as essential oil, so I'm generally not quite as fussed about dosing uh, as you would want to be with an essential oil. There you go, gorgy porgy. Give that a stir, and we need 11 drops of lavender. Now we're going to add a drop of vitamin E here. And all that's left is to put it into a bottle. So I would recommend a pump top or a squeeze bottle. For this, you wanna make sure that whatever you're putting it in will keep water out of it when it's in your shower. Oh, 
So you can see that there is enough viscosity to this to help keep the oats in suspension. Depending on how warm it is where you live, they probably won't stay like that, especially if you're keeping it in your shower, which is of course a fairly hot and steamy place. But there should be enough viscosity that if you shake it before you use it, the oats will stay in suspension long enough to get a relatively evenly dispensed product out of your tube or bottle. And that's it. Crazy, crazy easy. You just made some soothing oat bath and body oil. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and check the description box below for the full written recipe and links to this recipe on my blog where you will find links to all of the ingredients and all of the equipment I used. See you next time.